couple months ago, three, four months ago, I believe. I remember maybe six months. I can't. I got three teenagers, folks. Every day is like Groundhog Day to me, so I can't remember. It was six months ago, three months ago. You understand what I'm saying. I don't know. But recently, I read a story, and I think it, it was pretty viral. Many of you may remember. Uh, but this is in the middle of like, it wasn't too long ago because it's like when gas really started going nuts. And a uh, gas station manager in California, do you remember the story? He accidentally enters in the price for premium gas at $0.69 cents instead of $6.99. So it goes out on the board as $0.69. Cents. Well, you can imagine. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, Alex, if I'm driving down the road today, which, by the way, I got to gas up on my way home. And I've run out of gas many times because I get dist- I get in the car and I'm, I'm running through the – Joe knows this about me. Uh, ADD is real. I get in the car and I'll get in deep thought, totally run out of gas. Happens to me about twice a year. It's, it's really sad. Uh, but, but, but the point is, is that if I'm driving down the road and I see the gas station and it says 69 cents, I'm going to change lanes. I'm going to go four lanes and cause an absolute train wreck trying to get to that gas station. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, imagine. It's like a marquee out there. Well, this poor guy literally means to type in $6.99, and he puts in $0.69. Well, it takes two hours for this guy to figure it out. That's the story. I I don't know how, because the, the story that went viral was everybody was lining up at this gas station. People are coming in and fill it up. And is there no integrity or character anymore? I, I, it's like, does somebody not go in and go, is it really 69 cents? And, and, and apparently everybody was, no, man, I'm filling up, baby. Yeah. You know, and so everybody fills up. You ready for this? This is an independent gas station. It's not corporately owned. So you got an independent small business person running this gas station, and they racked up a $20,000 loss. A $20,000 loss on the gas. So he figures it out several hours later, and he fixes it. And initially, before I guess he figured it out, he says, I thought we'd gotten robbed. That something terrible had happened to the cashiers. So, of course, he gets fired. Now, this is what he said. He goes, even though it cost me my job, it's fine, because the truth is, you know, it's my fault. So... This guy's name is John Shazina. I don't even know how to say it. I shouldn't even have tried to say it. It's crazy spelling. Uh, and can I just applaud this guy? In today's world, for somebody to actually go, you know what? I made a mistake, cost my owner $20,000, and I lost my job. Now, I think a lot of people heard the story. It was like, I feel bad for this guy. It was an honest mistake. So should he have been fired? To me, that's a tough one. If I own that gas station, I'm pretty upset. $20,000, big hit. But if this guy's got a great record, he'd never done anything like this before, and he's an honorable, good character guy, I wouldn't have fired him. I, I you know, Especially with this news. Here's the rest of the story. He feels so badly about it that he wants to pay the gas station owner back. So his his sister sets up a GoFundMe uh, account, and they raised enough money to cover the twenty thousand dollar loss in sales, and they are paying it back. And so Alex, I read the story and I thought to myself, this is another example of why this guy shouldn't have been fired. Because if I'm the owner, I'm going, he's never done anything like this before. It's clearly a mistake. I'm gonna. I'm going to help the guy out because this guy did not have to pay it back. Legally, he didn't have to pay it back, but he did it. And he's going to be able to sleep well at night. And uh, I hope, I don't see in the article the rest of the story. It's a Yahoo article as to whether or not he's landed on his feet. But I got to tell you, leaders, when somebody does something really boneheaded, it's a mistake and it's a real mistake and the evidence bears it out that it is an honest error. Not a character issue, an error. And it costs you a lot of money. I get that you're mad. I get that your blood pressure is going out of control. I just wouldn't fire somebody over that if they got a track record.
So I don't think that's uh, I don't think it's too much to ask. But he did the right thing. Great story. That ought to just bolster your heart about the goodness of humanity.